Hey everyone, what's going on? It's Iron Hall Gym again. Today's review is on the angled multi-grip barbell from Titan Fitness. Let's start with the shipping. From the time of purchase until it reached my front door, it was about four days with two days of setbacks due to shipping. The shipping was super fast and it was really effective. I had a question about it and they got back to me right away. So the customer service was good. But as you can see, it was in the middle of my workout. I had my mask on and I was determined to finish. The box is what you would expect from Titan. It got damaged a little bit, but overall it's a box It's going through shipping. It's not going to be perfect once it leaves the factory, especially when it's a paper product containing metal. However, it was secured really tight inside of the box. It was slightly longer and wider than what was contained inside. Now once we open it up, you're going to see exactly how they packaged it. They did protect the ends. It was wrapped in this plastic wrap. I do wish that there was a little bit more protection to the bar itself. With that being said, it did ship a lot better than some stuff I bought off Amazon. The sticker on it is kind of raised up and it will fall off over time unless I protect it somehow. I know some people have complained about how their boxes show up damaged and I can understand that the box is a little flimsy. However, it was protected from damage. There weren't really any noticeable scratches on there, but let's get this out and go over its dimensions. It has free shipping, a one year warranty and financing available for it. It has knurled rolling, almost 83 inches. It weighs about 48 pounds and it fits most Olympic plates. With that being said, for today's test, I have iron grip plates. For starters, let's get on the rack and see how it fits. I have a Fitness Reality A10 XLT. For a product review on that, I have two videos on my page. It does swivel down a little bit, so you're gonna have to angle it back so it's flat every time when you get in. The plates actually went on pretty well. I was surprised because I know that some people say that it doesn't fit competition plates or whatnot, and these aren't. However, they are Olympic. For safety, I did put on some clips because it does wobble a little bit and I'm just learning how to use the bar. I was kind of nervous at first, but as you can see, as soon as I get it up there, the wobble does start, but I do stabilize it, which is cool because I can use new stabilizer muscles while I do this to erase some shoulder pain. I can also go to my chest and extend fully. So with that, there's no issues. Now, it is under 100 pounds that I'm pressing right now. But like I said, it's a new bar with some weights on it, and I've never done this press before. It is kind of awkward to get in and out. And as you can see, trying to make the video. In doing that, I had to readjust, but I think I recovered pretty well from it. So I'm just gonna test out the different hand placements. So do three presses of each. So start at the widest and do three. And then I'm going to re-rack it. That way I can transition to the next grip. Each grip is 2.75 inches apart, which offers a lot of space for your hands. As you can see, I'm starting to get over the way the bar wobbles. It is still kind of difficult and new to me, but I know in time I'll get over it. So really quick, just to touch on its weight capacity, it could hold 1,918 pounds, which is about two pounds less than what I typically bench press anyways. So for me, it's not gonna be that big of a deal. So the bar does have black coating throughout, including on the sleeves, which over time, if you don't maintain it properly, it will chip. So this bar is the original one. The V2, the handles are angled in after the first two center ones. We're about to get ready to test the different exercises that you could do with this bar. 
and I'll let you know if I approve of them or not. These are recommended from the company's website. As always, like this video, subscribe to my page, and follow me on Instagram at Iron Hall Gym. I'll talk to you next time.